feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Excuse my messy house. We'll be cleaning that up this week in the next couple of days. But um, I have not vlogged in a week. I did not do a weekly vlog last week. So here I am this week doing one. It is dinner time. I have just come home from work. That's why I look so run down. And I am actually making my kids food. And I thought I would show you guys because my kids are such picky eaters. So if you have toddlers, sorry, there's something on my screen. If you have toddlers who are picky eaters, I thought I would show you guys like what I make my kids. They're totally ridiculous looking meals, but they like them. And um, they're not really unhealthy so I kind of like doing this so I'm just gonna show you guys say hi, hi. say hi girls hi. <laughs> so I this one likes turkey so I made her um, I just gave them deli turkey strawberries bananas and then like bread and butter and that's just half of a hamburger bun because we ran out of bread so that's just half of a hamburger bun and then this one loves salami she has already devoured all of it so um, I gave her salami, strawberries, bananas, and then a half of a hamburger bun, just some bread and butter. And they seem to like that. They will actually eat that. I'm also going to get them some milk and that'll be their dinner and that'll be what they eat. I'm actually going to broil some salmon for my husband and myself and that's what we're going to actually have for dinner. So um yeah i just wanted to show you guys that because i know i get questions a lot about um picky eating toddlers it's very hard to feed picky eating toddlers it gets very frustrating sometimes at least for me i know i get so frustrated when i cook things and they just refuse to even try it but they're not like like our 10 year old i can be like look you can either eat this or you ain't gonna eat okay i don't know what to tell you but i need to feed them you know what i mean so Team Umi Thumi on the screen, but I have to make sure that they're fed and that their meals are at least trying to be as healthy as I can. So that's why I wanted to show you guys that because they're so picky. But um, I do like really unconventional meals like that for them, and it seems to work. So what? I eat all my strawberries. I know you did. Me too. Good job. So for me, like I think I said me and my husband, my husband doesn't eat salmon, it's just me, I'm going to boil, broil myself some salmon. I've already preheated the oven to 440, I've already preheated the oven to 440 and I'm just seasoning it with some onion powder. You ate all your salami? Yeah. Good job. No, you didn't. Eat your turkey. This is garlic salt, which I don't put salt on it all the time, but I am today. So I just have a little garlic salt, onion powder, and then I'm going to put a little pepper on here. So another thing I like to put on my salmon is fresh lemon. So I'm just going to cut this lemon. I don't have a cutting board down, so I have to be careful of my stove. But I'm just gonna cut this lemon up. I'm gonna use about half of the lemon with these thin slices. So I love putting lemon on my salmon and I also like to put honey and also balsamic vinegar. I think I showed you guys this recipe in a meal prep before, but I just poke holes in the salmon so all of the ingredients can kind of seep down in there. Let's move these to the side. And then I'm going to add the honey. This is raw honey from Amazon. So I'm just going to, it's the Nature's Nate's 100% raw and unfiltered honey. I'm just going to add some of that onto my salmon. Might as well just grab a cutting board. So something else I like to prepare is actually my water. I drink fruit infused water in my mason jars and I like to put lemons strawberries and then some mint in there so I just add some lemon slices like so and the last thing I grab is my mint so I just buy these mint leaves from the grocery store you can find it by like the basil and one container usually lasts me I don't know about five of these cups of water 
and I just keep refilling my cup at work and that's that what's so funny you're a silly girl and then I just put the top on it with no water and I fill it up for the first time when I get to work and that works I probably try to drink about eight or nine of these a day hey guys so I am here in the usual spot in my beauty room and I well me and my mom just went to Benihana I took my girls and they love Benihana actually they don't they like going because they like the show but they don't eat nothing they're so picky I think I was telling you guys yesterday they're so freaking picky about everything so um took them to Benihana they didn't touch the food Ryan touched it a little bit my youngest one she ate a little bit of like the rice but Morgan she wouldn't even touch it so but they loved the show they had a good time so now we are back I just put the kids in the tub and I had four boxes at my mom's house when I dropped her off so I'm about to unbox those with you guys I have several packages coming okay several packages coming um just with some things I ordered just a few things that I ordered I got several packages and I keep telling y'all I'm going on this not no buy but like low buy like I'm gonna stop buying for the most part and I have for the most part but there's been like some really really good sales this week and some stuff I've been wanting anyway so I just went ahead and picked some things up and this first box is from Amazon I'm actually prepping a video for you guys so I grabbed this silicon mix this is like a hair treatment it's supposed to be like a very very intensive hair treatment and I heard really good things about this for my extensions I don't know how it works for natural hair but I've heard really great things for my extensions so I'm I got that to give it a try and then I just got another memory card. This is just a 32 gig SanDisk memory card. So I just grabbed that as well from Amazon. Let me tell you, if you are not an Amazon Prime member, I have no idea what you are doing with your life, okay? But Amazon Prime is like everything, okay? You can get anything you want off of Amazon and most of it, you can get it shipped to you in two days. Like you cannot beat that with a stick. And now they have these like pickup locations where you can pick up in two days somewhere close to your house. So I usually just get it shipped. I've never been to the pickup location. but So then I ended up grabbing these two. Well, I got two packages from Sephora. And I just grabbed a couple of things. So the first thing I got, my husband is like on this mission to kind of brighten his skin and clear his skin. And so I ended up purchasing the Dr. Brandt Microderm Abrasion. Now I've talked to you guys about this before. And it came in a BoxyCharm box. This is a very expensive product. So this product will cost you $79 at Sephora. However, they have their like weekly Thursday deals. So every Thursday they have new deals on their website. And this was last week's deal. And they had this on sale 50% off for like $39.50. So it was really awesome. I made sure to grab it. I should have grabbed two for real. But I just grabbed one and my husband and I will share it. My other one I actually just finished. So my husband and I will share this one. It lasted me for a pretty long time. You only need to use it once or twice a week. And it works really, really good at renewing your skin. Getting off all the dead skin. It's not too abrasive. I really, really love this stuff. Then I purchased a little kit from Makeup Forever. This is the Makeup Forever Lustrous Faves. And it came with a lip gloss, I believe. This is the lip gloss, right? I don't even know what I bought, y'all. Yeah, so it came with this metallic gloss, which I don't know if I'll use much. But it came with this, it's pretty cute. This cute metallic gloss in the shade... 100 it doesn't have a shade name but it's just the shade 100 and then the reason I actually got this was for the next product and this is the star lit powder and it is in the shade iridescent pearl number 13 and so that's how that looks so I'm interested to see how this looks on the eyes I've heard nothing but ooh, good things about these so that's just me like really quickly dipping my finger into it. Oh yeah. 
So that's how that looks. So we'll see how that looks. But I'm going to have to do a makeup tutorial with that. I'm definitely going to have to do one with that. And then the last thing I grabbed was this Anastasia Trio. I don't know if this is a holiday set or what it is. But it just comes in three shades. And it's their liquid lipstick set. It comes with the shade... Which one? Dazed bittersweet there in the middle and then Hudson over here on the side so these are really just really cute neutral shades great for the upcoming fall season for the winter season the holiday season these are really really cute shades honestly year-round shades that you can wear so the last box I got was from upside down Ulta right here and I just got a couple of things they put it in this huge box and I swear to you I only got a few things like I don't know oh maybe this is why okay this makes a lot more sense why they put it in this big box sorry y'all I had to take a little break kids is acting up so I'm gonna show you what I got from Ulta now I got this new brush from Eco Tools. this is their wonder cover complexion brush best with liquid and cream foundation so I definitely cannot wait to try that at all then I also grabbed this from Eco Tools. You guys know I've been like head over heels in love with their sponge. So they included actually two of their sponges. It looks like the burgundy one is smaller than the gray one, but I, I just could not pass this up. And then they comes with all of these brushes right here. Eco Tools has actually some really, really great brushes. They're a great affordable brush line at the drugstore. If you are looking for makeup brushes, I would totally check out Eco Tools. And then the last two things I grabbed were foundations. I got this LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation and I got it in white. I have it in my shade actually, but I got it in white because um, I have a lot of foundations that are too dark for me. So I figured I can just kind of mix this in and create like a custom color. I also got this in white because I wanted to kind of incorporate it in my Halloween looks or see if I can incorporate it in my Halloween looks. I don't know how pigmented the white is, so I'm going to have to test that out. And then I got one more foundation. I'm really, really excited about this. This is the Becca Ultimate coverage complexion cream in the shade tobacco now i have been watching nitra b for years as i'm sure most of you guys have and she always raves and raves and raves about this foundation how it is just super full coverage and super just beautiful on the skin so i got mine in the shade tobacco i'm gonna test this out right now to see if i grabbed the right shade because it was kind of hard to choose the shade online to be honest Are we coming? Are we coming? Maybe? No, not yet. I think we're, there we go. Oh, that does look like a really, really good shade match, actually. Oh, it feels full cut. Oh, yeah, that's good. It's a perfect shade match. It feels full coverage, too. Anyway, I'm about to get in the shower, and then, um... I may film, I may just call it a night. I'll see how I feel after I get out of the shower. But either way, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Yeah. yeah. Grandma ate your donuts. We ain't eat yet either. What? We've been busy. I ate them. I ate them. What y'all ate? Y'all was sissy taking. Oh my home. God. So it is what? Where your hat's at? Oh. Oh, I like that hair. I'm gonna give me one. Actually. It's ten dollars. So it is Saturday, um, October 14th, and we are on our way to the pumpkin patch. Let's go to the pumpkin patch. I'm driving. Yeah. Oh. We are on our way to the pumpkin patch, and. Um, yeah we're taking the girls they're gonna have a good time i'm pretty excited it's such a nice day it's gonna be almost 80 degrees outside today so i kind of put on my flannel shirt to get a little fall but it's gonna be like 80 degrees outside so i'm at my mama house my mom my sister and then my girls and myself are gone my husband's at work per usual so mommy huh she broke another one no we have a napkin 
in the glove compartment. Raya, how you oh. break your glasses? Raya Bean Bean. She put 2D. And she spit on herself. Let me she find blowed it. the other one. I know, y'all giving her them donuts. They're going to be filthy. Man, seen pumpkins and got popcorn and cider and donuts so now we are just taking a little nature walk with the kids yeah look at my shadow morgan i see my shadow fun saturday with my girl yes see your shadow look at kiki's shadow my shadow's coming to get your shadow Target, of course, looking at, I'm shiny, looking at all the home decor stuff, of course, because that's all I do now, basically, and I'm just kind of looking, and I think I want to get, like, one of these spice racks. I really like this one, or this one, which it looks like it kind of turns. I think I want a spice rack, but we also have a Lazy Susan in the house, so I don't know if it's, like, a spinning spice rack is even necessary. Um, but I think I want to get one of those and then I know I've been wanting to get the kids like one of these little water bottles for when we're on the go they're getting there they are already too big for like the sippy cups that they have so I've been wanting to get them like a really nice water bottle but this one's like 20 bucks and I don't know if I want to spend 20 bucks for them to lose it or break it or whatever but yeah all right, so this vacuum is on sale for $114, and I'm so tempted to get it. Shark Rocket Deluxe Pro. I'm so tempted to get it, and I think I just might, 
because we need another vacuum anyway. Oh, Brad would love this. I'm looking at mattress pads I forgot we needed like a mattress pad for my daughter's new mattress so I found this cheap one for 20 bucks it's the room essentials waterproof mattress pad which is good because my babies are still small so if they pee on themselves or something like that in the bed then it won't ruin their mattress and we just bought Morgan a brand new mattress so I just want to make sure her mattress is protected. So I am sitting here watching Family Feud and putting together, sorry for the mess y'all, it's going to be clean tomorrow, but putting together my new vacuum. I ended up buying the vacuum that I showed you guys at Target. So I got the Shark Rocket vacuum cleaner. And so I'm really, really excited. I'm putting it together right now. Sorry for my ratchet look, but if you guys want to see some kind of like review on the vacuum cleaner or anything like that, just let me know and I can certainly do that. I can do some kind of, I don't know, review if you guys want to see in an action or if you ever thought about buying one of these cordless vacuum cleaners, I can definitely do that for you. So let me know. All right, so now I'm a little disappointed and irritated because I think I assumed it was cordless I've been looking at I think I told you guys earlier this Dyson vacuum um I forgot exactly what it's called I'll put it on the screen but I've been looking at this Dyson vacuum and it's like 300 bucks so when I saw this one on clearance at Target for a hundred dollars I was like okay I have to have this one but the Dyson is cordless so I think I just kind of assumed that this shark rocket was cordless it is not it looks like everything is very very similar to the Dyson except the cord part so it has a cord so now I'm not sure if I want to even keep this or not because I wanted a cordless vacuum. I mean, it was only $100 and in our new house, there is so much carpet on every single floor. So I'm definitely, I feel like I'm going to need a vacuum cleaner on every single floor instead of dragging it up and down. So I could keep it because we're definitely going to need it and then maybe invest in the Dyson Um by the time we move or after we move um because I feel like I'm gonna need at least three vacuum cleaners like I already have one obviously and I just wanted this one so this will be two and then if we decide we need three I could always just go buy the Dyson later but this just isn't what I thought it was so I'm kind of like I mean, I can still do the review on it if you guys would like to see it. Sorry for the lighting. But I can still do the review on it if you guys would like to see it. I mean, it's definitely a cheaper alternative. Even at the regular price, it's a cheaper alternative to the Dyson vacuum that everyone talks about. I'm sure you guys have heard of it if you're into, like, cleaning and um, home stuff and things like that. But it's definitely a cheaper alternative. So I can still do a review on the vacuum. But it's just not what I thought it was. So, yeah. So it's the end of the night and um, getting ready to just, oh, I'm coming. Getting ready to just um, prepare some food for myself for tomorrow. Obviously, it's Sunday, so I gotta work tomorrow. So I'm getting ready to prepare some food for myself and um, that's pretty much it. Do some last minute cleaning and then I'm going to retire with my husband. So um, that's the end of this vlog. I just kind of wanted to close it out. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.